gang, I'm back with another video. Let's get straight into it, man. Hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. What up, gang? I'm back with another video. Reggie White Jr., head of security of Death Row, man. He say, um, Tupac mom knew who killed him days after he died. He said they knew who killed him days after he died. They say the whole LA, California, the whole everything on the West Coast knew what happened. He said the people who profited off his death, entertainment, outlets, uh, like people who did documentaries and stuff like that, is the one that changed the narrative and made all these conspiracies. And all this stuff to make money so that draw away attention from who actually the killer was. So that's why the public was late on finding out who really killed Tupac because the elites, the higher up over the entertainment business, threw all these conspiracies out and washed away the truth. So only people really knew the truth was the people on the West Coast and the people that was close to Tupac. Everybody know now Orlando Anderson was the one who shot Tupac. The one who Tupac and the rest of the blood stumped out at the boxing match of Mike, with Mike Tyson in Vegas, right? Um, Orlando Anderson tried to sue Tupac mom after Tupac died. So she countered sued. And like a week before... The case really was finna go to court. Orlando Anderson died. I guess he was gonna try to sue for defamation of character because mind you, he wasn't arrested for it. But the what but after that happened, the police did raid his house to look for the murder weapon. You know what I'm saying? Like the police heard who did it, but they didn't have proof to actually lock Orlando Anderson up at the time. Nobody was talking. But you know, his uncle recently came out, what, a year or two ago and said, yes, my nephew did it. I was in the car. You know what I'm saying? He gave, he got immunity where he got into a situation where he was looking at life. They told him, if you, you know what I'm saying, tell us who killed Tupac, then we'll give you immunity. We won't lock you up for this case. And that's what he did. You know what I'm saying? He said his nephew, Orlando Anderson, which the whole West Coast already knew. You know what I'm saying? Everybody around Tupac already knew Orlando Anderson did it. Like he said, like, uh, like Reggie White say, us, the people on the outside didn't know because the elites put so many conspiracy theories out that it washed away the truth. But listen to him and check him out. He also mentioned something that I thought was pretty wild too that I never heard before and that's Tupac's mom suing Orlando Anderson for the murder of Tupac? Correct. Well, to be honest, uh, uh, he sued her first, and she did a counter suit, which which was gonna get settled, but she never paid out. She never paid one cent because guess what happened? He got killed about a week <laughs> before the film was about to uh, go down, because they were gonna pay him out, I think, seventy-eight thousand or something like that. Uh, but before the settlement was done, uh, he got killed. And the attorney, Donald David, for this state, pulled the agreement. But yeah. How would Tupac's mom know to sue Orlando Anderson? How would she know to sue him? Right. Oh, because of all the allegations. Because he was claiming that, uh, I mean, this. Hey. Just because y'all just out here about that Southside was always suspected of being involved in a murder. That's been out there. They, they got their places raided and stuff. That's been out there since, since it happened. That Southside shit, the war in Compton that happened the next week. Come on, Cal. She knew. Everybody knew. You conspirators. You old white men. R.J. Bonds and Nick Broomfield and Frank... Bitch ass, lying ass, Anders Alexander is the one that came up to make some money off of this stuff and, and created new theories and stuff. 
Everybody knew the real of what happened back in the 90s, 96, after it happened. Shit, hours after it happened. When people started putting, talking and putting stuff together, they knew, they knew they had got into it with at the MGM. Yeah, all right. Kevin oh, Gaines. alert! Listen, gang, I'm doing $20 promo. $20 promo. I've been doing promo for a lot of people, and hey, I'm talking about people been getting good results. A lot of people been hitting me up saying, thank you for the promo. I'm seeing the traffic that's coming. Now, listen, if y'all seen my old videos, y'all know Music 101 is my official page. Music 101 YouTube is my backup page. Both pages have been deleted. Both pages have been deleted by Instagram. I don't know why. I don't know why. Now, I need y'all to go follow me on my personal page. And if you need any promo or anything, hit me up on my personal page. For some reason, you have to follow me to be able to hit me up in my DM. What up, gang? I'm back with another video. Yes, my Patreon will be coming very soon. In a few days, I'll be dropping the link in my Patreon on every video in the comment section. So make sure y'all looking for that. If you want exclusive content, I'm talking about shit that you know I can't post on YouTube, go to the Patreon. You want to see me react to exclusive videos you know I can't post on YouTube, go to the Patreon. You want to see me hanging out or me taking trips, go to the Patreon. You want to learn how to make money on YouTube or social media, Go to the Patreon. You know what I'm saying? My Patreon link will be available in a couple of days. Very soon. Probably tomorrow. But just make sure y'all stay on the lookout. Like I said, after every video, once the Patreon link is up, my Patreon link will be in the comment section of every video.